Whitney. Um, I grew up in Maine, in New York. Uh, I went to U University of Southern Maine and studied industrial technology. From there, I started an internship at Pratt & Whitney. It lasted for about two years until I got into what they called the Manufacturing Engineering Development Program. So it's a two-year rotational program. Every six months, I got to move to a new position within the company and get a different feel for all the different areas of what manufacturing engineering can be. So that, it was a pretty intense program. It, it comprised like 600, over 600 hours of training. Um, and lots of on-the-job training, too, which is what the best part of it was. And the reason I got into that field is because I wanted to find something. I went to college, and I started studying engineering, and I didn't like it. So I found something that I could use my head and my hands with at the same time. So I liked that a lot. So, now that's where I'm at. I've been full-time manufacturing engineer for about seven months now. And I'm not sure I went the right way. Is this the right way? Um, Let's go right and left or this again. That's right. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> you guys have any questions I could answer? Uh -oh. <laughs> um, I can so would I recognize anything that uh, you're involved in producing? Um, our company produces uh, jet engines. Yeah. So if you ever fly okay. uh, commercially, yeah. just about every commercial jet has an option of having one of our engines. And we're the number one military supplier for jet engines. I'm a manufacturing engineer. So you said you started with engineering and then you switched to manufacturing. You said mechanical engineering? I actually started at USM with. Um, Electrical engineering, but I didn't seem to like it very much, so That's I switched. Actually, what my degree said. I switched into yeah. a, a yeah. industrial technology degree. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you: is how is, is how you switched? So it's industrial technology. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep, and then that's how that's what got me my internship. And throughout staying there for two years, I got to know a lot of people, and I got to know the company, and got to like the company, and know that I wanted to work there. So. What subjects do you think you would say most, would be most helpful for you, to you from your high school? So if you were to speak to it, try to inspire it, someone in, would it be calculus, would it be physics, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what would you, where would you hope to inspire students? Um, well, I think one, one of the classes that I, I found most helpful were my AutoCAD classes. Um, and also industrial technology classes. So we don't one of the, have that at Freeport High School. That's why it's so unfortunate. A lot of a lot of schools don't have that. And relate to this. No, a lot of schools don't have that anymore. Um, most people in my profession are, they come from mechanical engineering backgrounds. I was lucky enough to get into it, having gone through the technology side. I just went a little roundabout way, but we both had we all ended up in the same place. Um, usually. Mathematics is very helpful. I was always big into science. I always liked all the science classes um, through grade school and high school, and physics and chemistry and all that. I don't deal too much with chemistry now, but plenty of physics and geometry is real big. <laughs> so, go ahead. No, I was, I was just going to say, <laughs> coming into that profession not through mechanical engineering, but kind of a roundabout way, does that give you an advantage that you understand things a little bit differently? Than your coworkers, or? Um, I would think that one advantage that I would have is that I have more hands-on experience with like, conventional machining and actually manufacturing processes instead of just the theory and the book knowledge of it. Like I have had my hands on and I've done that before, but I can also have the, the understanding of the theory and the business aspect of it too, which is what I got from USM. Um, the inductive technology program is great because you get a little bit of everything. There's plenty of technical, a little bit of business, um, whereas an engineering degree is just strictly technical in theory. And so I, I found that very helpful. Would you be free for my school? Any possibility? Yeah. Would you be willing to speak to a couple of classes? I would. Basically, you have our presentations. Any class you think you can Sure. Just let me know. Email is at ian.mcintyre. I-A-N dot M-C 
I N. It's a capital I. Put in the email. It doesn't matter. M C I N T I R E at P W like Brad and Whitney dot U T C dot com. So I A N. There's a dot in between that, right? Yep. Dot M C I N T. T I R E. Just like tire. At pw.utc.com. You got it. Nice. But I will send you an email and create a ship. Okay. You said you're in Freeport? It's Freeport High School. That's great. We go to Freeport every other year and everybody else can speak to classes or something. This year, after today, I'm going to make focus on fully on STEM. We're doing it all the time. I'm in Portland all the time, so it's right next door. My daughter uh, is a mechanical engineer at Parker Nichols. Really? That's a good company. Is, is, they do a lot of in Portland. Is that, is really neat stuff not, there. <laughs> is it the old? Well, used to be just Nichols. Her address has Parker in it, so yeah. I. Yeah, but it's, that's yeah, that's yeah, the company, right? Yes, yeah. I have two rotor in my drawer. I show it to okay. kids all the time. Yeah. I'm trying to get that's them to look at technical careers. When she first <laughs> took the job, they were reworking the two rotors. Yeah. Yeah. So do they? I mean, that years ago when I first went there for some educational things, it was just two rotors. Do they do other things? Lots of yeah. yeah. It's, a, but it's I, an impressive I, company. I've been there. I mean, if I, if I remember right. They they, they take powder and turn it into metal gears. You said that and I'm engineering not, is more I'm not too sure. book knowledge. If that's so true. Well, I, I graduated so in 92 with electrical well, engineering degrees, and I went to work in the paper industry. I, 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 I felt like genuflecting when I went through the gate because the, it doesn't, the education doesn't prepare you. The problem-solving ability prepares you, but you still have to learn it all when you're on the job. The way to think Whereas about Whereas you've things. already done stuff. Yeah. And that development program that I went through was so key in that. It was yeah. perfect. Yeah. And that, that, that actually gave foot in the door, too, didn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Gave them a chance to see what you're capable of, too, before they hired you. So, yeah. right. internships, like I think, are important. Team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't hire that one. <laughs>